just coming on here to uh, really just want to talk to anybody right now on video. being lonely in my thoughts. I mean, isolation for myself is just like something I'm used to and normal with, but thinking too much is going to, is, you know, make, and like, just going over everything in the world and how it's affecting other people is like something, I mean, I really concern myself with because I care so much about about humanity and every individual and hu a human race and to and the knowledge that there is more personalities out there that I haven't got to encounter yet with also the numerous thousands I've already encountered and considering how some of those like the way some of those personalities would be or the those types or, or certain people, very specific individuals which there are thousands of hundreds of thousands of well, tens of thousands maybe realistically. That I'm just I, I think about in each individually in my thoughts and how they're doing and stuff, but I mean in my mind I'm closer to people than I actually ever get to people. Like even though I know I'm not close, it just I, I feel like I can more concerned about people than people are for me, which is fine because there is you know, I don't like people getting close to me. Um like I only let certain people know know certain things about myself. And I think that's good. It's it's for a certain amount of uh of privacy I suppose, but mm, I mean, I like a mystery. I don't like to let everyone know everything about me because everyone doesn't deserve to know everything about uh, about me or anyone doesn't deserve to know everything about a person. The only person that should know everything about you is the person that you choose to bring children into the world with. And then uh, secondly, you, the person that sh the people that should know the second most it, are your children them themselves because you, you hopefully if you want to teach them everything, uh, the things that you've done correctly, and then also have them learn from your mistakes. So your story, your life story, will be part of that. Um, and, and you impart that into your children. Hopefully they take it and they accept what, uh, uh, hopefully the things you succeeded in, your successes, and leave behind the mistakes. And the rebellion will tell you that they'll make some of the same mistakes you didn't even, maybe different mistakes even, that a problem that you never faced yourself that you're going to have to figure out how to help them with. Um, yeah, so basically I think of everyone in a sort of sense in my mind as like, you know, like a child and I, I feel a, a, like a, a, a need to take care of in some sort of way, even though I'm terrible at keeping up with people because of the digital age is like it's like it's not that much effort but it's sort of a man of effort because then I have to use an apparatus but if I really want to talk to someone I will and if I talk to someone and they're not talking back that just tells me they don't want to talk to me even if I do care about this person it's like they don't care enough to respond back enough or, uh, you know, so, and I understanding, like, maybe some things are missed along is just timing issues. Yes, but if timing issues are consistency, then that just shows how much they actually care about your time. So the effort that you put in, if it's not reciprocated, it will no longer be given. Um, and that's something I'm finding 
I mean, that's something I've always done my entire life. But in the digital age, especially, I'm finding it, since I'm trying to accommodate you by going digital, which is something I don't prefer. So I'm already going outside my comfort zone by doing things online and not meeting in person like I love. That is my thing. I like meeting people, I like having conversations with people face to face and knowing exactly what you mean, getting being able to ask you questions, get immediate, you know, feedback. And that's something I like doing. So I'm going out of my way taking uh, to do something that is more accommodating to you, something that you prefer. But even in me accommodating your preference, that's not enough. Or that's not something that you're interested in. Am I? And I'm fine with that. Not everyone has to be interested in me, but if I see you in person, you're like, hey, why don't you? I'm like, uh, so am I supposed to like keep messaging someone after they don't respond? Or like if someone writes something short back to something you type very long, is it? I mean, because I talk in paragraphs. So I talk a lot. So texting is just inefficient for me. But I have tried. And I continue to try. But I mean. I'm trying to get someone's advice on here. Come on. Someone come on. And and just just talk. Or else I'm going to continue to think I'm right. And everyone else is wrong. If I don't get new perspective. That's the only way you can correct yourself. Is by. Someone, if you, because if you look at something too long or experience something too long, uh, you might start to lose, um, you might start to lose sight of, uh, uh start, st- stop trying to find issues with something that you're experiencing just so you can get through the experience, you know. And that's something I, I, I like to say I have a heightened sense of awareness when it comes to things that, uh, that are, that are. Uh, the issues that arise within uh, my life pattern, which uh, people tend to be inside. So acknowledging that you have a pattern and then continuing to follow in that pattern, I think I'm a little bit removed from... So I'm still in a pattern, but I'm aware I'm in the pattern and I'm in, I'm purposely, purposely and consciously sticking to certain patterns so there's a degree of predictability for other people not because the predictability is necessary for myself because I change that pattern when I'm not around other people so people don't know people see something consistently or semi-consistently when I'm interacting with them because that's something that people generally need is someone that is consistent that some Someone that they can expect a certain thing from. And the moment that you show something different is where people are like, whoa, what's that? And I'm like, I want someone that I can share all these different things that I'm interested in. And, and, and I'm highly interested in whatever you're interested in. Anyone that talks to me, I'm, I'm highly invested into what, what your interests are. Unless it's, a, of course, an interest that is destructive then I'll listen completely, understand you as much as possible to see your reasoning why you enjoy this activity, and then give my honest opinion. If you ask for it, or if you don't ask for it, but if you're asking without asking for it, I'll give it to you, and then I'm not going to change my mind to satisfy, you know, activity that that is self-destructive or destructive to others. I don't know. I'm, I'm gabbing on. I'm rambling. Come on, someone come on so I can talk. Because uh, I want to talk to somebody. Come on. I'm going to give it five more minutes. I'm going to give it five more minutes. Then then we're going we're gonna to work on something else. See, I'm giving effort into trying to get a result out of something that other people have been successful in. So, let's see how I fare in this digital world. Only 35 followers, so it's like, it's whatever. 
But uh, let's see if someone comes on. I don't, I don't like I don't I don't like waiting in queues or anything like that. I'm, I'm a patient, impatient person. So if my time is being wasted in in terms of something for something, I could be doing. You know, I could be doing something else right now. Um. So I'm I'm not much of a time waster. I don't like it. So once I find. Like, sitting here and just looking at myself, I'll just keep talking. I guess I'll just keep gabbing on until someone joins. Um, if someone will join. Because I think that's important. I, I, I'm going to probably look real crazy, but that's okay. Because I am real crazy. But that's also a perspective of a world full of crazy people. Not calling you crazy, but I am. Because everyone's got a thing. Some people just have a little more kooky things than others. I also want to know people that really dislike me. You know, I really want to find out those people. I want to know whose life I have affected in a negative way so I can atone for that. Because I can only think of, you know, because generally... Generally, I'm a like person, and I don't really, I don't know if that is because I'm insincere in a certain form, and people like what I'm presenting, or is that because of genuine like? Because that's always strange. And like, usually people there's some there's people that like and dislike. I know, like my ideas. The things I will I, I say if if on supported if you, you just came in you would argue against it. Like and then you would like me you wouldn't like the thing I said, but in terms of personality I don't know, I guess with time you get to know anyone. But I suppose with everyone I meet I try, generally try to treat them as if uh i I treat them like like if I'm working in close proximity, if I if there's a, a time where I feel like interaction would be helpful, or I notice a quality of a person, just the way they stand, the way they walk, the way the the mannerisms are, I feel like and just there's certain people I just see and I know I can just talk to them, just at a certain level. Some people you need to let you they need to be aware of your presence some people you can just uh, stand behind and be like hey and then you know, like strangers even i mean i think every stranger is an opportunity for a new friend if you are aware of the dangers and you know people you got you i've i've lived in so many places lived so many around around so many different people um And I just, I'm basic, I'm essentially a people expert. Um, it's something you literally cannot learn without experiencing it. It's something you just have to have life lived. Life lived is the only thing that will help you experience people. The only thing that will eliminate your anxiety is experiencing life. So there's, for the adults out there with anxiety, live life do things that are constructive to humanity to yourself first so you can get yourself in shape so you can hold up when you start helping other people because helping other people can be draining and there's no time for you to have an anxiety attack when you are helping another person because if they are dealing with the same thing you are going to exacerbate theirs and it will then exacerbate yours because you have not dealt with issues that you have yourself. Any therapist that needs therapy should not be a therapist. 
<laughs> I don't know, I just get that. I'm telling you, I can say something and I, this is how my brain works. They're just trails upon trails. And there's obviously more that I don't know than I do know, but I'm aware of that. Uh, anyone, hold on, we're telling more followers to join your video. Yeah, there's, I mean, has it been five minutes yet? I think it's been about five minutes. I mean, let me see if I can come up with something constructive to say before I get off. Well, I think a lot of the things I've said were constructive. They can be helpful or taken the right way. It gives you a little bit of more of an understanding of myself. Um... I just got a gym membership, which I said I wouldn't do, but, um, I mean, that's another opportunity, that's a new way to interact with people, potentially interact with people, I don't know if I want to do that necessarily, interact with people at the gym, but, um, we'll see, I'm trying to get a little bit, a little bit more muscular mass on not really mass, but just like tonality. Because I, like, with home calisthenics, I'm usually pretty good at it. I used to uh, train in, in several disciplines of the martial arts. And uh, that just keeps you toned, you know. Um, turning off, at least. Like, dancing, even. Just... Water weight keeps off. There was a period of time where I saw myself and I was not happy. Um, I've always sort of had, not, oh, well, yeah. I mean, there's there's things to it. But uh, my weight's always been something I've been conscious of and knowing I never wanted to get to a point where I would be societally deemed as unhealthy or seen as unhealthy but that was at a point where the, the fat was the unhealthy thing like visually fat but that got to a point where I was anorexic you know and I was like like it was some so the I don't even it wasn't really intentional because anorexia it didn't exist yet in my mind Anorexia wasn't a thing, like, you couldn't be, you could never be too skinny, like, I wasn't even the skinniest person I knew, but, like, for myself and my, for my size, I, I was skinny, there was a point, and I used to brag about it too, where I could see my heartbeat through my, through my chest, like, you could, I could put my finger on, on my chest, and you could feel, you could see and feel my heart, like, beating through my skin, like, technically, I could still do it right now if I, like, sucked in. But there was a point where, like, the, fr the there was a space, like, under my rib, like, right here, where you could see the skin. My You would see my heart just right there. So I would be able to touch my heart, poke it, and feel my heart hitting my finger like that when I was younger. And I that's something I used to be, like, I used to pride myself in, in, in being able to do that, like... <laughs> Yeah, look at me. I'm like, I can see my heart. So, like, I guess that's where. I mean, I never, like, intentionally did any, like, dieting or anything like that. I just always was active enough for whatever I ate, it would just stay off. Because. Some people say I had had a fast metabolism. I'm like, that's true, because I used to, I, I ate decent, well, those points where I was not eating, but I ate decently at times, and it, it was still, but I mean, that I think that's just, me, my personality, I'm basically on drugs all the time without ever having done drugs in my entire life. And I, I mean, no, that's not something that I can say that some people can't say. 
Many people can say it. Many people that are no longer alive can say that. Many people that are alive that... That, that will that accept the things I say. Because your brain's not altered by drugs, so you have more sense. <laughs> uh, man, that's a joke. Um, Alright. That's going to be it. I'm not going to waste my time. Uh, well, yeah, it's a waste of time, but not insult to you. But thank you if you watched the live thereafter. I was waiting for someone to come on. That's the only reason I came on. All right, uh, be blessed, stay blessed. Watch the watch the new podcast. I've got some stuff coming up. We're going. I've been I I've been very nice about the way I've been trying to explain things, and um, no one's watching. People like the drama. People like to see outrageous, salacious, very. You know, flashy, glamorous, eccentric, commercialized sort of entertainment, rather than raw truth. And that's the and I only willing to provide the truth. I won't do anything different. Anytime I state something that I believe to be true, and I find out it's not, I will automatically correct that. Uh, myself, I correct myself unless someone corrects me first, which I tend to correct myself before anyone else does. But I will only tell the truth as much as much as I can, as much as I know. I will tell the truth, and um, yeah. I just might be a little bit more rough around the edges about it. Be a little bit more dramatic with the truth. Not at all um, contrived for a right. Well, constructed or like um, there's a word that they use. Um, mo- like there's no motive to it. There's no ulterior motive or like a uh, Package in a way to tell a particular story. Well, everything is doing that, but it won't be. A, there won't be a, a particular. There won't be a, 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 a political narrative behind it. It'll be everything as it is, as it has been so far. But I might be a little bit more aggressive going further. Um, I'm also gonna put some ads up since that's the only way people can get recognition around here. The truth will be coming soon. Trust all of it. All of the truth. Alright, be blessed, stay blessed. I'll see you all later.